G'day, this is Peter Montgomery from the PeterMontgomeryShow.com. In this video today, I'm going to talk about seven tips for better SEO. Now, if you haven't heard that term SEO before, it means search engine optimization. And that just means how to get found in Google. So what we're going to talk about are seven things. Uh, firstly, we're going to talk about uh, the kind of content that you create for SEO, what works best. Uh, we're going to talk about serving the machine uh, and serving the human, which way to do that, the order to get things in. Uh, we're also going to talk, I've got my little list here, we're also going to talk about uh, where to put your keywords. So once you've decided on the keyword that you're going to use, uh, we're going to talk about consistency in posting, how often you should be posting, uh, linking strategies, getting backlinks and how, how that's important and how to do that well so Google doesn't uh, sort of give you bad juju. Uh, and also the social element of SEO. Plus I'm going to give you a little tip on, on a tool that I use all the time when I'm doing SEO, when I'm... Uh, thinking about keywords or the types of content that uh, I want to do, even uh, researching content, I use this tool, it's really cool. So first up, the kind of content to create. Uh, uh, Google really rewards good content and what good content does, and when people actually find it, uh, they stick around, they interact with it, they, they look at it, they might click on the link that you want them to click and they uh, go through to other pages or, or whatever. So good content is actually engaging, it's entertaining, uh, it's educational. Uh, and so people really want it. And it's the kind of content that people share. So good SEO is about good content. So the first thing you want to think about, which is my second point, is serving the human before serving the machine. So you want the person that's going to arrive there to actually have been looking for that in the first place. And it's almost like they've asked Google a question and up comes your answer and it's perfect. It's a, it's a solution to their problem that they're facing right there because your content is good. That type of content is something that people might share on Facebook, which will further help your SEO strategy as well. So good content. And now serving the human first before serving the machine, a, a thing that Google does on the background or and other search engines as well is they actually work out what people are doing when they hit your page. So if they click on the link, open up your page, instantly realize that it's not for them, they click straight out again. They hit the back button, they get out of there. And uh, Google and other search engines recognize that and pay attention to that. So that works against your, your SEO strategy. If you create good content, it means you've served the human, you were thinking beforehand what someone was looking for and you created that and, and delivered that to them, they're gonna stick around. So that that result there, when they stay on your page for a long time, when they click and they scroll down, uh, they might uh, yeah, opt in or, or do whatever it is, they take some kind of action on that page, that gets registered inside the, the search engines and, and it works better for your SEO because what happens is they kind of reward you when you start keep posting content, they they go, oh, this person always posts good stuff. So, you know, like they kind of reward you by giving you better rankings when people hang around longer. So that's serving the human. Now I'm gonna talk, through just quickly um, and, and actually use a screenshot right now to show you how I would go about uh, putting my keyword in the right places on my site. So I'm just going to jump over to uh, the back end of my website right now. It's a, it's a WordPress blog. So I'm going to jump in there and I, as if we're going to create a brand new page. And this is uh, really how I do my SEO. So for example, if I was to create a page for this video and I was going to put it on my website and it was called seven tips for better SEO, let's just say uh, tips for better SEO happened to be my keyword. I haven't researched it. Don't know if that's a good one or not, but if it happened to be, we're going for tips for better SEO. So I'm going to write seven tips for better SEO. Let's say that that's my keyword right here, right here, better SEO or tips for better SEO. So we're going to get both actually, if that's a longer tail keyword is the tips for better SEO, but included in there is also better, better SEO. That might be another keyword that you want to go for as well. So if that was my keyword and I was creating this page right now, just out of habit, the first thing I do, copy and paste the title into the body. I would scroll down and in the back end of most websites, if, you, uh, if you're the guy doing this stuff or the girl doing this stuff, then they would have this kind of section. There'd be some version, some version of this uh, in the back end. So I will put the title there. I will put it in the description. Also down here, you've got it in the keywords. Some websites might call that section tags, uh, meta tags or something like that, but it, it basically is the keyword. So you're telling Google what this page is all about. Now up on 
the side here, you, I've also got tags, so you know I'm naturally going to put it there and add that in. And you know this is uh, just choosing a category. You might have an SEO category there that you could choose as well. I don't happen to have one on there, so I'm not going to do that. And that's just like the first stage of me doing my SEO for this web page. Then I'd actually create the content, and it would be, for example, it'd be what I'm talking about right now. That would be the content that I would write. But I would make sure that my keyword here tips for better SEO and better SEO are in the title, they're in the body of the text, in the body of the uh, the write up early as well. So if I was to write a document, I would say seven tips for better SEO and how to do, uh, how to start a, how to SEO a web page, you know, it might be a, a subtitle, how to prepare your web page for SEO. Okay, spelt that wrong there. So tips for better SEO, how to prepare your web page for SEO. And then I would continue to write a, an article or something there or have my video on there with the extra text. But having it early in that spot there is really important as well. But scrolling down here, so yeah, just to recap, you've got it in the title, you've got it in your description down here in this section here. So you'd write a brief description and you've got it in the title, description, you put it in the spot for the keyword. And here's another important thing too, is in your URL. So when I actually go and submit this page and uh, it gets indexed in Google, uh, what they're gonna find is in the URL itself, it says tips for better SEO. It's actually part of the URL. And uh, there's another thing that I do as well, which um, if we put it here, it's in HTML, it's just a tag and it's it goes like this. So just whatever it is you want for uh, the keyword, it goes into this tag here. It's called a H1 tag, a header one tag. So if that happened to be the one you wanted, this is how you would write it. And that also lets Google know what you're going for. Now, I find, you see, if I do this, it's going to make those words really big on my website. So I, I don't want that. What I've noticed is if I do it on my page, on my WordPress blog, I put it up there. Now, it's, if someone was to share this on Twitter or something like that, it would come up. It would come up written like that in the text, and I don't want that, but it's okay. Anyway, for now, so what I do is I put it a H1 tag in, the, in my actual title, so it doesn't come up in my title on my WordPress page. Um, it doesn't affect any, it does affect a little bit, but it doesn't affect the overall look it doesn't actually say those words those tags on the page um, so next is uh, so what have we got so we've got consistent posting so title goes. so the basic the four areas you really really want to pay attention to right this is uh where it comes to serving the the human versus the machine if it doesn't feel good to to fit it in the body of your text then don't put it there just put sort of whatever, even a, a variation of it somehow. But if it can't fit exactly, don't stress out too much because the most important thing you want to do is have it in the title and you want to have it in the description and in the keywords there. Uh, the main thing is just have it in your title. And, and the best thing that's going to happen for you is if you create good content, people will find it and share it and it will naturally get better rankings because of that and people might link to it from, from their website and refer to it and that's where we talk about backlinks um, and then the importance of those. But, so the next thing I wanna talk about is consistent posting actually really, really helps with uh, Google ranking. What it does is if you, every week, at least once a week, if that's just, that's what I personally do, I, I post once a week, so once a week, I put fresh content on my page. I prepare my page, you know, similar to how we've just described. And next week I do the same. Next week I do the same. Next week I do the same. So Google is always getting uh, fresh content from my website and it's constantly coming and sending the spiders over to, to crawl my page and check out what the new content's about so it knows where to index it. Now, the, the thing is that Google, right, people think that SEO is about tricking Google, but it's not. What it's really about is creating content that is valuable to the, the end user. So Google wants to provide the best value to their customer, which is us. You know, when we Google something, we're Google's customer. So they want to provide the best experience. So we use their search engine over something like Yahoo or, or some of the other ones. 
So they want to find the most relevant content. So you, you need to be on topic with uh, your content. So if your title says what it's about and someone jumps on there and it's about that, they're going to stick around because that's what they're looking for. If your content is actually about something else, well, they're going to turn away. So relevancy is a big key factor here. So uh, yeah, if you're consistently posting on your particular topic, you will soon build such a web of uh, information based around the, the similar sort of keywords. Google will then recognize what your website is really all about and uh, you'll get much better rankings over time. So consistency in posting is, is very important for SEO. It's actually better than trying to get backlinks. If you just consistently post with preparing your page, how we talked about, you, you'll probably be pretty right just there. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is linking and the link strategy. It used to be way more important to get links to your website than, than it is now. So in the old days, it was like a link, it was a link and it came from anywhere and they didn't really matter. And But now, if you've got, say, a website about health and you've got links coming from a car sales web page, they're completely unrelated and now those those links aren't doing anything for you. They're actually probably hurting your website by having all these random weird links coming in. What they're looking for, if you're in a health industry, they want other health websites linking to you. So if you know people in the industry, you could ask them to put a link to your page if you're friends with them uh, and you could link to their page as well and, and, and just prov and see if you can sort of work out your own kind of link community. If you have a blog, uh, a good thing to do is go to blogs on Google and in your keyword that you're going for, type it in and then see what the first five blogs come up with. And if they're kind of related to the topic you're talking about, you could send a link from your website to them and that will notify their blog that uh, you've linked to them and then they can approve that and say, yeah, that's great. It comes up as a comment on their, one of their, on that post and then that, that could get a backlink to you from there and it's to a relevant site that's that's uh, in the same topic that you are. So that's a bit of the linking strategy. Also, I won't go too technical with um, the types of links that you want to get, but there's I'll tell you about three, three things and give you some percentages. So there's branded link, there's a generic link, and there's anchor text link. So a brand link would be your website, you know, whatever your website happens to be, .com.au or .com. And it, it actually says that in the text and that that is a actual link. So it's kind of like your brand, your name. The next thing is uh, anchor text, which is when you say, uh, if I was to have this here, this link here, tips for better SEO, if that was the keyword, and I, I go into here where I make the link, yeah, you put the website that you're linking to, whatever it is. And in here, if I write uh, the same thing, tips for better SEO. If my link actually said that, and I can open that in a new window, so I've just now created a link. Is that going to work? Oh, I didn't put a website. Um, I'll just say website.com just to get it done. So, so say that there now, that link, if that was going to a website that was called tips for better SEO.com, then that would be that is the anchor text there that that the that series of words is there with the link whatever that says google's paying attention to what that says if you, it used to be you want as much of those as you could get because it was like directly related to what you're doing now that's what people do and they over optimize their page so it's actually going to work against you if you've got too much of that so you want about 10 percent of that of your links to be those anchor text links and so let's say the link actually said uh, these words here, tips for better SEO.com. That's like a branded link. But on the other hand, if the link said click here and that was your link, that is a generic link. That they, it's about 40% of those and about 40% 40, 40 of those, uh, maybe 10 to 20% of those links there. I'm not sure of the exact percentages, but that's kind of what you're looking at. You want less anchor text. You want more of the click here type stuff and uh, you know, visit this site or check it out or that type of stuff. They're the kind of links that they really, they want. It's more important to have it come from a site that's connected to your site and to your topic. So a health website connecting to another health website with click here is a powerful link because it's the relevancy of the two websites. So now we're going to talk about uh, the social element, and that's just basically taking your web page, your web page that you've created, uh, or your video, whatever it happens to be, and just sharing it on Facebook. And if people decide to share it as well, 
then uh, you know those those links while they're not sort of super powerful for SEO it creates that human element where people actually come and they might visit your website because they saw it on Facebook and if that it's related to you know if their friend put it on their page and their friend likes health stuff as well and you've got a health website and they see this health link and their friends put it there they might click on it go watch it and visit your page and they might hang around and check out some of the other stuff and add value to your SEO strategy by actually interacting with your website so so that's kind of like the social element and you also want to share it on your on your pages like um if you've got a video for example let's let's hop over to as if we we're gonna make this video let's say this was seven tips for better seo this is just one of my episodes uh, i've just gone into the edit section so this is similar again so you've got your title description and your tags most websites have that youtube channels have that that's pretty much uh what it's all about uh, so if you're doing it on one area on your web page you want to do it on your videos if you write articles same thing you want to put, do the, the same techniques on all of those places and all of those places add up and especially if you've got a link coming back to your website from those places then that all adds up for better SEO so if this was seven tips for better SEO I put it in here as well I'll put it here seven tips for SEO better SEO now what I do I also uh, put the my web page so that's my link of the page that that video is on so in that page you've got my url and my link but it also has you know, your keyword within that url pointing back to that page and again down here so you'd have it in your tags and um, yeah that's basically seo if you've got it in your title in your description in your tags you know if you if you can go more technical and have that h1 tag and go even further and uh, you know put it in all those other boxes as well it all adds up but if nothing else put it in your put it in your title and it should work pretty good now uh, I want to share a tool with you uh, I'll see if I can find it here's here it is it's called market samurai now this is pretty pretty simple to use but it's also like has a lot of advanced features so I'll just tell you about it and you can go and google it and find it yourself uh, or if you want I you just give me give me a buzz and uh, I'll, I can hook you up and give you the link and uh, I'll open a project here. Let's say Savvy SME is just a, a one I was searching around the other week. And so I can check out, you know, uh, keywords. It gives me, a, it helps me find keywords that are related to the keyword that I'm going for. So, you know, you've got your keyword research. I can see on that keyword what the top ranking websites, uh, if I type that keyword in, who they are. And I can see all the background of their website. And here is those sections here. See, I can see if they've got the keyword in their description, if they've got the keyword in the URL, if they've got the keyword in their title. This is the column I'm looking at here. If they've got it in the H1 tag, the header one tag. So this tells me if a web page that I'm going to compete with has the keyword that I'm going after in those areas on their page. And you know, and this is uh, LinkedIn, and it's the company Savvy SME. Uh, it's their page uh, or something on here. There you go. So it tells you how old the domain is, what page rank it has, how many links they've got coming into it, all that sort of stuff. So it gives you a whole stack of information behind the scenes that you just don't know uh, looking at a website, what it's got. Also gives you uh, the ability to find content. So you can type your keyword in and go and find content in Google Blog. So for example, we want to find uh, any other material that mention our keyword, well, we can jump in here and find all kinds of other websites that are related to that term and go see what they're about and uh, you know possible linking opportunities so you can send a link to them they might send a link back to you you just notify them say hey I just wrote an article and uh, yeah you know if you if you'd like to you know I'd, I would be cool if you could link back to me you know if it's someone you can develop a relationship with if you're on the same topic uh, so you can find other content and other linking opportunities where you might be able to comment on a blog or comment on a post and get a backlink because you know you, you, you're joining in on the conversation and adding value to that conversation and they like that because that helps their SEO as well when people are joining in with their conversation and comments that all gets recognized in search engines as well as social interaction and that can get a link back so if they approve your comment and that you put your link in there that comes back to your web page as well so this is an excellent tool market samurai for going behind the scenes i mean you can use it as simply as you like or you can get really advanced with it and and go to town on it and just sort of find little niche spots that no one is sort of is using or you can you know just find the gap in your market this is the ultimate tool i use this one all the time so if you need it uh, you want to you want to get a handle on this I mean just google it you'll find it uh, if you want a specific link um, yeah come and come and see me and I'll give you the link and that's cool so so there you go there's my seven basic tips I'll do a recap 
on, on what we kind of just covered. So we're talking about good content, serve the human first over the over the machine, uh, which is the search engines, I call that the machine. Uh, putting your keyword in your title is the most important thing, then go further and put it in your description and in your body text, put it in your URL, which is the, the web address, put it in your tags, put it in your keywords, and make sure it fits in a way that when someone's reading it, it just feels natural, like they don't stumble across it once they hit your keyword because it feels unnatural. Just make everything flow natural and organic. If it doesn't feel natural, don't put it there, don't, don't force the issue sort of thing. Uh, consistent posting will win out over everything. So if you kind of just set up your pages, how we described, consistently post, you'll be right. We talked about linking strategy, kind of what good links are versus what not so good links are. Uh, talked about the social element, just actually getting your content out there in, uh, in your social networks and, and people interacting with it. And uh, shared a tool with you called Market Samurai, which you should definitely get your hands on. It's about $100 or something like that. So there you go. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you learned something. And uh, yeah, I look forward to maybe meeting up with you in the future. It'd be awesome. All right, you make it a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.